Welcome to a new video about analog filter design. In this example, we will discuss the narrow band bandpass filter design. We will use the multiple feedback circuit configuration to design our circuit. Of course, we will see everything step by step in our calculations and verify these in SPI simulations. Now, before we dive in our design example, let's first discuss the multiple feedback circuit, which is also called the Delianis friend bandpass filter. The circuit is shown here, you see here one operational amplifier. And why is it called multiple feedback? You see here one feedback, negative feedback. Another one is also shown here. So there are two negative feedbacks here. So that is multiple feedback. We have three resistors, two capacitors. Each of them are equal in this case. And we have here the inverting configuration for our filter circuit. Let's see what the transfer function of this circuit is. now. That is then given by this expression. You see here the second order expression in the denominator. So that means this filter is a second order. And you see also here this minus sign. That is the inverting action of this filter circuit. In order to calculate the values of these resistors and the capacitors in this circuit, we need to compare this circuit with the standard second order bandpass filter transfer function. In this case, we see also this parallel combination. So R1 and R2. That is then given actually by this expression. So we can also write our transfer function in this format. Now the standard form of the second order bandpass filter is shown here. This is the general expression. You see here the K, which is our pass band gain as a scalar, not in dBs. You see the omega bandwidth, that is the bandwidth in radians per second. And you see also here the omega center, which is our center frequency, which is also called the resonant frequency. So you have here three parameters. Now, if you compare now this transfer function for this circuit and the standard form of the second order bandpass filter, you can calculate or make the design equations for this circuit. Now, comparing the terms, we see here this K times the omega bandwidth is this one over R1C. Now you can Ignore this minus sign for the moment. That is just the sign inversion. That's what you see here. The second comparison is actually this one. So this 2 over this R3C is this omega bandwidth. So you can right away see what the bandwidth of our circuit is using the resistor R3 and the capacitor C. The center frequency is then just looking at this expression. And that is then here, omega center squared. So that means the omega center itself is the square root of this expression. And now you see here indeed that this is the square root of the expression there. Now we have our comparison terms of the transfer function for the circuit and the standard form of the second order bandpass filter. Now we need to go to the design equations because that will be useful in order to design our circuit given the specifications here in this example. Now the R3 here can be then worked out using these three equations as this one. You see here the two times the Q over the omega center and the C. What is this Q? This is the quality factor, which is the ratio of the center frequency and the bandwidth. We also have the formula for the R2, again related to the Q, and in this case also the pass band gain. So in this case, you need to first calculate the R3 and then you can calculate R2 because there you need to uh, also use this R3. And then the final one, which is R1, which is equal to R3 over 2 times K. Again, you need to pass band gain here and R3 you have calculated here. So do we, these are the three design equations, including this, the quality factor you need to use in order to design the circuit here. So let's see it in action. So our design objective, narrow band, multiple feedback, active band, pass filter. And we will use this Delianis friend filter circuit. Okay, specifications. We would like to have a center frequency of one kilohertz. The band must be 200 hertz. And our pass band gain should be 10, or in this case, 20 dB if you convert this to dBs. Our, again, our filter for this example. So what do we do? We actually go to the first the filter parameters. In this case, we only use one parameter, which is our quality factor, and that is then the F center over F bandwidth. Of course, you can also use here the omegas, but then you will cancel the two pi's in the numerator denominator. So the result will be the same. So you get here 1000 or the one kilohertz over the 200, kilo, 200 hertz, and you get here five. Okay, now the component values. We will now use the 
design equations to calculate the resistors and the capacitors here. We start with by selecting the capacitor as 10 nanofarads. Why? Because we have here 1, 2, 3 and 4 unknowns. And we know from the previous discussion that we have three design equations. So we need to select one of the components. So in this case we select the capacitor that is more convenient and also in the practice because uh, the capacitor values are not really uh, easily found. So we select here 10 nanofarads and then we can calculate the rest of the unknown components. So there are three again. We know that we need a Q. We have selected our capacitor and we know our center frequency from our design. This is by the way again an omega center so we need to use the 2 pi times the F center. You see that here and we now substitute here 2 times 5 and then also divided by the center frequency and our capacitor which is our 10 nanofarad or 10 to the power minus 8 farads and that will result is in this 159.2 kilo. That's done. Now we can go to the R2, which is then using this R3 from this step, and also the quality factor and our passband gain, which is this 10. Okay, now substitute here the values. You get here almost 2 kilo ohm, or more precisely 1989.0. Now the final one is R1, which is then R3 over 2K, and that is then given by this equation. Again, we need to use this R3 and the passband gain and it will result in almost 8 kilo ohm or more precisely 7958 ohm. Now with these values with the design is complete so we have now the four components here C, R1, R2 and R3. And our simulation circuit we will then use in order to check this calculation is then shown here also. You see the operation amplifier, the resistors R1, R2 and R3 and the two capacitors each 10 nanofarads. Okay. Let's go now to the body plot, which is our simulation result. You see here the gain, and here the frequency in the log scale, and here you see some labels. Let's start first with changing or converting this scalar value of our passband gain of 10 into the kdB, which is done in dBs, using the formula 20 log of this k, or 20 log of 10, which is 20 dB. And that's also what you see here in this label, because at the 1 kHz, which is our center frequency, the gain is indeed 20 dB. You can also see that from this vertical line. And that is also according to the specification. So it is correct that the center frequency is 1 kHz and there we have a passband gain of 10 or 20 dB. The lower cutoff frequency here that is calculated by going down by 3.01 dB, you see that actually this is 3.01 dB lower than a 20 dB. That is occurring at 905 Hz, which is our lower cutoff frequency. So we can also define it as or designate it as FCL. And the upper cutoff frequency, again the same thing because you go down again by same amount, 3.01 dB. And that happens at 1105 Hz, which is our upper cutoff frequency. So we see here FCH for upper cutoff frequency. Now what is the bandwidth? Bandwidth is actually the upper cutoff frequency minus the lower cutoff frequency, which is actually shown here. And that means all the specifications are met because this is also 200 Hz as we wanted for our design. Alright, that was our example. Considering the narrow band multiple feedback active bandpass filter, we have used the Delianis friend filter circuit in order to design this circuit and use our design equations to calculate the components. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Don't forget to like and share these videos so that we can reach more people for these interesting topics. Thanks for your cooperation and see you next time in another video.